Team of the season is here. And if you're looking for a cheap and reliable way to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins over Team of the season, then please look no further than FIFAcoin.com. You can get a massive 10% discount. And you can also get an extra 5% when you use my code Martin. Link will be in the description. Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video and a video that I'm really excited to make today because it is about my team, Ipswich Town Football Club. We are on a massive winning streak at the moment, 13 wins out of the last 14. Hopefully we're getting promoted to the Championship and today I wanted to show you how to replicate their 4-2-3-1 uh, custom tactic. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and have a look. So. On the screen right now, you can see the team that they would normally shape up with and in the 4-2-3-1 formation. So, this attacks like a 3-5-2 and defends like a 4-2-3-1. Hopefully, the player instructions will show you how that works. So, without further ado, let's get into it and have a little look. So, over to the tactics themselves. So... Defensive style, pressure on heavy touch. When we lose the ball, we're not overboard in trying to win it back, but we do put the team under a decent amount of pressure to try and win it back. But I wouldn't say we're all guns blazing, like, say, maybe like a Liverpool would be. So that's why I've left that on pressure on heavy touch. And a defensive width, 50. There's no need to change that. Defensive depth, I've gone for 55. Maybe could have made that um, a little bit... Um, higher up but 55 is good enough is good enough for me build up play definitely balanced um interest play with a lot of balance we've got the ability to uh counter attack with a lot of pace um in the team we've got the ability to build it up a bit slower we've also got the ability uh, to go long to a central striker so for me build up play balanced and particularly in fifa as well that's a great um, tactic to have because variation is the name of the game chance creation direct passing so direct passing obviously on fifa means players making runs just ea call it direct passing which is absolutely stupid so Ipswich have a lot of players making lots of runs and in fifa that's great for us as well because when you've got the ball it means that you've got options and lots of them and that is exactly what we're after offensive width 65 one one of the strengths of this formation tactic and what Ipswich do in real life is this attacks like a 3-5-2, okay? So Leif Davis on the left, Wes Burns on the right, both provide lots and lots and lots of width, which is why they have so many assists. Um, and that's why we've changed the offensive width to 65 to allow them to really push out wide um, and to get into those dangerous spaces to get lots of balls into the box to help us create more goals. Players into the box, we've left that on six. I think that's about right. Um, I wouldn't say that it's just completely overload the box, but you certainly get enough people in there to score goals. Corners and free kicks, it's just left on two. It doesn't need to be touched. Okay, player instructions is what I always um, put more emphasis on, to be honest, when looking at formations and tactics in FIFA. So. The goalkeeper, Christian Walton, come for crosses. Fantastic goalkeeper. Um, very, very tall. I think he's like six foot six, six foot seven, something like that. So he comes for a lot of crosses and obviously makes sense for us to have him on come for crosses. Okay, so along the back line, let's look at the two centre-backs to start with. So both, both on stay back while attacking. We've got Cameron Burgess and Luke Wolfenden. Okay, over to... The right back who when we are attacking becomes like a right center back in my um opinion and we can see here we've got harry clark on balanced attack so he, he does get forward okay but the emphasis isn't on him to get forward as much as leaf davis on the other side so you can see the the transition they go from the four to the three when attacking um and then over to the other side Leif Davis, when we're attacking, will very much move up to the pitch and be the left wing back, left winger, whatever you want to say, and Wes Burns on the right-hand side. So you can see we have got attacking runs, join the attack, and run type overlap. Okay, so as soon as we win the ball, he's on his way, creating that option on the left-hand side. Okay, so we've got 
Leif Davis joined the attack. Harry Clark balanced the attack. Into the two CDMs. Um, at the moment, this would be Massimo Longo, uh, but he doesn't have a card on FIFA. So uh, Lee Evans it, it is, he's just on his way back from injury, and skipper um, Sam Morsey. So both of them on cover centre, very much trying to win that central midfield battle, staying in the centre of the pitch. Um, aggressive interceptions and cut passing lanes. Balanced attack also. Both of them are just looking to keep the the play ticking, keep the ball ticking, and to keep Ipswich playing. Right, up to the wingers, if you like. So, Wes Burns, come back on defence and drift wide. Okay, so when Ipswich don't have the ball, it's very much the onus on him to get himself back and help out the right back, but also it provides so, so much width. So you can see here that the uh, position in freedom, you can have free roam, stick position, or drift wide. He gets chalk in his boots, and when we'd have Leif Davis on the other side, it would be Wes Byrne on the right-hand side. Over to the left, so Nathan Broadhead, and he would play more centrally, okay? So remember, he would have Leif Davis to his left, and Broadhead would move into the centre a little bit more. And you can see here, we've got get into the box for crosses, which he definitely does, looks to score goals, okay? And then at Cam, we've got Connor Chaplin, who's absolutely on fire at the moment, and his role is to get into the box for crosses, wait for those pullbacks from the left, from the right, and stick them in the goal. Basic defensive support, when the team doesn't have the ball, everyone's expected to um, get involved and help with the defensive side of things. And then up front, could have been Freddie Ladapo or George Hurst. I've put George Hurst in here and it stay central and stay forward. I think whenever you're playing with one forward, whether it be in real life or in FIFA, you really want them to stick to the position um, that they're there to play. Because if not, you don't have any strikers up there at all. So it's very much their job to stay central, be a presence up there um, and an option if we're needing to go long or looking to break. So guys, there we go. That's my 4-2-3-1 tactics for Ipswich Town. And they're on a fantastic run. So if you're looking to have a bit of fun or you support them or you want to implement that into your career mode or your ultimate team, that's the way to do it. But guys, that is it for today. So please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Up the town.